scandals President Obama is involved in. Clearly, we are reigniting a culture of racism in today's youth, brazenly evident in the barrage of black-on-white attacks deemed as the knockout game. Okay, here we are. Didn't take that long. Yeah, we sped, sped the tape up a little bit, but I'm not winded. And uh, all they had to do was jump in one of their many tax-paid-for cars over there and mosey on over here and break that up. And maybe the police aren't at fault. Maybe they didn't know about it. Maybe the thugs got away with the beat down. Nobody called them. But the mainstream media has gone on to say that it was not a racial attack. It's just, just an attack because it was black on white. Now, when white's on black, it's racial. If white people beat up black people, it's a horrible racial incident, right? Horrible. And it's been happening in our country for throughout the history of our country. Now, when black people beat up white people and another black guy, it's not a racial attack. It is. Why is racism coming back? I thought, I thought, it, was, I thought it went away 20 years ago. Why is it coming back? I mean, it always comes and goes. It likes to hang out, marinate, and then it comes back. But I think for the most part, people aren't really racist. It just seems that way. I mean, there's nothing I can do about the mainstream media. Stop watching, I guess. I don't. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Is it more interesting to you as a uh, news viewer if it's white people on black people or black people on white people? I wouldn't say it's more interesting one way or the other. Well, they seem to think it is. Mainstream media seems to think it's a lot more interesting when it's white people on black people. Well, of course, it sells. Violence against anybody because of their race would be, it's totally, it's unacceptable. I don't even see why people think that way anymore. <laughs> Mainstream media provides us with a divisive tone reverberating from the mouths of political leaders struggling to gain a foothold in popular opinion by the age-old technique of divide and conquer. In the words of George Orwell, ignorance is strength. <laughs>